While serving as Ogunja MP and the leader of minority party in the National Assembly, Energy Cabinet Secretary James Opio Ondai was fiercely critical of the government's failure to intervene on the skyrocketing fuel prices. If there is one thing that is going to increase the cost of living in all aspects, it is this proposed increment on the VAT on fuel, Madam, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, we all know for sure that fuel is a driver of our economy in, on all facets, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, if there is one thing that this government should have done to the so-called hustler was to cushion the hustler from an increment in the cost of fuel. However, the shoe now being on the other foot upon being appointed to lead the energy docket, Wandai seems to have shifted the goalpost if his statement today is anything to go by. We must understand what really con constitutes the price of, of fuel at the pump station. Speaking at KPC headquarters, Wandai noted that fuel prices are determined by various factors, some of which are out of government's control. Key is the landing cost, over which I'm sure you know we have got very little control. Because it depends upon so many other factors out there. Two is the taxation regime, which is something that is within the domain of parliament, as you know. However, the newly appointed CS highlighted that the government is working on ensuring efficiency in transportation and storage, saying that the same can help reduce the cost of fuel. Uh, issue of transport and storage costs. And that's something we are actually working on actively with the management and the board of Kenya Pipeline and Company. What you see us doing here is essentially to try and address areas where we can improve our efficiencies. Because once we do so, it will have a very direct impact on the pump price. To further easen the burden on Kenyans, the CS hinted that the government is eyeing external markets with a view of leveraging Kenya's expansive energy infrastructure to generate revenues from underutilized resources. We are working on a strategy to ensure that all Ugandan petroleum requirements pass through our system. As we know, currently they have got some little quantities they are getting through the port of Dar es Salaam. We are hopeful that in the fullness of time and due to our improving efficiencies, they will have no option but to rely on the Mombasa port. As the corporation looks at increasing its profit margins, KPC Managing Director Joe Sang attributed some of its success to the use of solar systems to run operations. We're the tail end of signing a memorandum of understanding between the two countries to be able to deliver products into Rwanda. Mm. And you'll be seeing a lot of announcements in coming days from the ministry. And we are very, very keen in terms of ensuring that the regional market is back to Kenya as the gateway of the larger East Africa economy. As the Kenya Pipeline Corporation sets its sight in achieving the 12.5 billion profitability margin for the financial year 2024-2025, the corporation is seeking to bring Rwanda into its scope as well as reduce its operational costs. Ian Kitani, K24 TV, Lungalunga, Nairobi.